it is a huge tradition of our show when we've run out of ideas to fall back on improv. Also true, but we try not to focus on it. Really, the show is one part dick jokes and one part improv. There is no actual scripting. But we put together a group of ad hoc performers that we call The Stage Falls. Ladies and gentlemen, The Stage Falls, featuring Johnny Morbid, Brett Crow, returning once again, Chris Cortinas, Christopher Strand, Kasha Reese, and Styx. That is a lot of people on the stage, Johnny. That is a lot of people on the stage. What are you going to do with them? <laughs> we are going to play a game called Last Sentence, or at least that's what we're calling it because I don't actually know what it's called. So, Cool. How do you play? The way this works is we've got three teams of two. We've got me and Brett, Sticks and Kasha, Strand and Cortinas. I know you're adorable together. Stop being so gross. Okay, so... <laughs> I, I know you do. I, I've been in your house. That was, that was a weird day. <laughs> is that what you call it these days? All right, so the way this is going to work is, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to take a word from somewhere in the audience. A periwinkle. Albatross. Albatross. All right, so then starting here, we're going to free associate off of the word albatross. You're going to say the first word that comes into your mind, and then the next person's going to say a word based on that, and so on and so on and so on, until we got it all the way around and then to the back. So, albatross. Seagull. Pineapple. Seafood. Shrimp. Mmm. <laughs> is that a word? It so, is now. It's automatopoeia. Donuts! <laughs> all right, so each of us is going to remember the word we said. And we are going to construct a scene. <laughs> so, but there's a twist, of course. Eventually, Russ is going to say change. And whatever the last word the people on stage say, Whatever the last sentence is, that is going to be the first sentence of the next group to get up. Who then have to continue their scene later on in time. Is everybody on board? I am so on board with this. All right. So, Brett, do you remember what your word was? Mmm. <laughs> and my word was donuts. So, begin! Mmm. These are so good. I, I, know, I know that you really like my donuts, but I'd really rather you kept your pants on in the shop. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Don't cramp my style, man. Like, okay. I, I know, like, there's style, and then there's indecent exposure. Change. <laughs> there's style, and then there's indecent exposure. You can't just wear a pineapple. Your idea of wearing a seagull was dangerous. <laughs> Only because I decided to wear it alive. <laughs> well, you would look very stylish with a seagull flapping around on your dead body. Why am I suddenly dead? You said Change! You <laughs> Why am I suddenly dead? I told you not to eat that type of seafood. But I love grilled shrimp. I know you do. But you're highly allergic to it. How are you talking to me if I died of anaphylactic? Oh my god, that's my body over there. My... We need to have a talk. <laughs> you are in a very strange time of your life. Change. <laughs> Look, I know you're in a really strange time in your life, you know, like you, you just you walk into shops and you start shedding clothes, but you can't live your life like this, man. You gotta have something more than eating pastries and nudity. Aww. What? <laughs> no one ever told me that before. Well, maybe it's time that someone told you that because I'm here for you. Don't Change. touch. <laughs> I'm here for you, dude. Even if you were dead, 
and there was a seagull flapping on your dead body, I just I would shoo it away. I just I, I don't understand why not only you imagined me dead, but you drew pictures. We need illustrations to go along with the instructions on the do-it-yourself seagull thong box. <laughs> I'm just really concerned because you drew the seagull so well. Change. I'm just concerned that you drew a seagull so well. The uh, seagull was part of the murder. He was going for the shrimp that I had in your mouth that you were trying to eat, even though you are highly allergic to seafood. Where'd you get the pen? It's part of the corporation. You always have a pen, you always have a pad to mark where the body is. You're talking to a ghost, and there's a corporation involved, and somehow you pulled a pen out of that. Grim Reapers Incorporated. Grim Reap. You're dead! <laughs> no shit! <laughs> you ate something that you're highly allergic to, therefore your body is lying on the ground and now seagulls are pecking at it. What do you want me to do? Change! <laughs> and now seagulls are pecking at it. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the stage falls! <laughs> 